Hello, um, just a quick video, my first attempt at bench rest shooting with my Firebook Power 300. Um, I've shot it a couple of times down the range and my eyesight is terrible. I could not get on with shooting uh, with a diopter. It was absolutely diabolical. Um, even at 15 metres I couldn't really see much. I tried it with glasses, without glasses, but it, it wasn't for me. So I've invested in a period Nico Sterling glossy black scope which hopefully suits the rifle. Um, I'm shooting off my home mage bench which has worked perfectly. I've got my little shooting seat that I've got for Christmas there um, and I'm shooting down the garden. Um, I'll just walk down there at my target box which I made which is out of old paving slabs encased in a box made out of old pallet wood so that's my target box got a little spinner in there um, and that's about 21 yards um, I measured it with my hawk laser distance finder and yeah and I think it's 21 yards um, from here from the from the this little enclosure I've got at the back of the garage um, I did a little bit of practice before I did the bench press target. Um, the ones I used two pellets, I used Quiz. So when I bought this gun off Telephone Pete off the forum, he recommended Quiz pellets. So the ones circled in red were the Quiz pellets, and then I, I had a go with JSB Exacts, which are the pellet holes not circled in red. And to be honest, there wasn't a lot in it at this range. Um, and I tend to use JSBs for, for most of my guns, it seems to suit most of my guns. So I, I, I actually shot the Bentrex target card with JSBs, uh, which I've noted on the card. Did a few sighters, um, and for, for my first go at Bentrex, I was quite pleased with that. Um, I've scored it at 212, but I'm not sure about some of them, like uh, when they cut the line. Like that one there, target nine. It's just cut the line. My understanding is if you cut the line, then you go to the high score. Um, target number four, yeah, I think it just cut the line. But you know, if my score needs to be amended, then that's fair enough. For my first go, I was quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, so there you go. My first attempt at bench rest shooting with the FWB 300. It's a lovely rifle, it's far more accurate than me. You know, I'm, I'm distinctly average. Um, although hopefully with a bit of practice I'll get a bit better. I can see how bench rest shooting can get really addictive because um, I was really, although that's not a bad score for my first go, it, I was disappointed, you know. And it's, I can see that head position was crucial. I was definitely moving my head a bit. Um, so obviously with a diopter it, it forces you to a good head position, but I just couldn't see. It's not the the gun's not working, it's my eyesight that's, uh, that's um, the issue. Um, I bought a fixed mag scope as well. This is just a tight of four times. Um, I think it's 32, or it might be 40 mil, but it's fixed mag four times. Um, I don't know if you can see through the. See if we can get a picture through the scope. Probably can't. Uh, it's just a basic duplex reticle with a fine cross in the middle. Um, there's not many um, mil dots or anything. But it's a nice clear picture for that distance, 21 yards, nice clear picture. The rest was great. I like the I love the um the adjustable wheel here where you can do really fine adjustments up or down with that. Um I did take the bolt out because I understand for bench rest, um these have to be the front and rear have to be separate. Um so <clears throat> put my gun down there. So so without the bolt in they are they are separate, they slide around. So hopefully that complies with bench rest rules. But there, there you go, it was my uh, first go at bench rest shooting with the uh, my new rifle. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, thanks, bye.